What's good, RS gang? It's R O L E X to the S L W E Z Y. And today I'm back with another video. Today I'm about to react to SML movie Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? They just dropped this like hours ago. If you guys want to watch it, link them in the description down below, as well as my social medias. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video while you're at it. Now let's get right into it. Guys, you ready to go practice hey, I see trick or treating? Back. I still don't understand why we need to practice trick or treating. We've been doing it for years without a problem. Because Cody, this is a dress rehearsal for Halloween. We make sure our costumes look good and I make sure we say trick or back. treat right. How do you say trick or treat wrong? You just say trick or treat and then they give you candy. No, Cody, you have to say the whole thing. That's how you get more candy. You say trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. And then the ref. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. I like that better. No, no, no. We're no. not going to say that. We're not going to say if no. you don't. I don't care. No. I'll pull it on your underwear. Like, you're threatening to assault them? You're threatening to pull their underwear down? Who wrote that? Bill Cosby or Jared Fogle? Well, that's just how it goes, Jimmy. We're not saying that part. See, this is why we have this whole dress rehearsal. So we say it right, because if you say that, we're going to get arrested. All right, so I think mm. we have the whole gang. We got Joseph and Scooby. Ruh, 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 ruh. And we got see Joseph. What's as up, boy? Daphne. 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 And we got Daphne. Cody as Velma. Velma, because of glasses. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm Shaggy. Wait, we're missing a character. We're missing Scrappy Doo. Oh, we don't have a no, Scrappy Doo. Come oh, on, Shaggy Doo would be a good Scrappy Doo. But we don't even have the costume. Uh, I'm gonna go ask him if he wants to be Scrappy Doo. But we don't have the co whatever. Come on, guys, he has to see he has to see our costumes. Okay. We'll make him want to do it. <laughs> hey, Chef Pee Pee. No, not right now, Junior. I'm making fried fruit by the foot. That what? Sounds yummy. Wait, you guys dressed like Courage the Cowardly Dog for Halloween? Wait, you're four days early though. No, we're not Courage the Cowardly Dog. I I don't know what would make you even think that. I mean, I. I guess I could be Muriel and Junior could be Eustace Bags, but no, that's not what we're doing. But Joseph is the dog! No, we're Scooby-Doo. Are you uh, dumb? Never heard of it. Impossible. Are you slow? Everybody's heard of Scooby-Doo. Well, I didn't, because I never had a TV growing up! Well, I feel like oh. it still would have gotten around somehow. Well, it, it missed me. It never got, got around. What do you guys want? We want to know if you want to dress up like Scrappy-Doo. Who? Well, Scrappy-Doo is like a little Courage the Cowardly Dog who's also an asshole. No, I want to be Clifford! Oh, you've heard of him. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Who hasn't heard of Clifford the Big Red Dog, you- so, you heard of Clifford the red, Big Red Dog, but you never heard of Scooby-Doo? I thought you didn't have a TV growing up. You lying, Pee Pee. You lying. Idiot! Okay, but we don't even have a Clifford costume or a Scrappy-Doo costume, so I don't even know why we're asking you. Come exactly. on, guys. Let's go don't practice saying Clifford Tree. Bother me and my fruit fried. Mm. Uh, it's good to be a billionaire. What the... Chimes, get in here! Yes, sir! Empty! More yummy! Very well, sir! Hurry, Chimes! I'm parched like a pear tree! Oh, Damn! Come <laughs> on! Chimes! You're blindfold! Put it on! I don't want your life to be too easy! Oh, very well, sir! Chimes, why do you let Goodman treat you like that? You've been his butler for these many years, and you still let him treat you like shit? SML. If you can re see this video, we need a backstory of Ch Chaz, I mean, Chives becoming the, um, Goodman's butler. You know, the first time he ever became, um, like, the backstory of him, like a spinoff. We need that. And why Goodman been treating him like that? I don't, well, I don't care if you rich. If I was a butler, I don't care if you rich. I don't care if you poor. I don't care if you own a building, a restaurant, a strip club, or anything. You ain't finna talk to me like that. So if you talk to me like that, you get in these hands, or I'm going to just leave. Simple as that. You ain't going to treat me like that. No, ma'am. No, sir. You better not spill it. I swear to God, if you spill one drop on that counter, I'm going to beat your ass. He ain't you don't shit. Want to come watch. Goodman ain't oh, shit. Where is it? You better not spill it. That is Poppy Rose 2007. But, sir, I can't see. Didn't you go to Butler School or some shit? Well, they didn't teach me this in Butler School. Well, they should have. Wasn't it on your resume that you were the best blindfolded wine pourer? Sir, you just made that up. For real? No, I didn't. You better start pouring. I just don't see under what circumstance anyone would ever need to blindfold themselves in order to pour wine. This one. Now get to pouring. Oh, very well, sir. Oh. Uh, I, I, I think he I moved it. it. He moved it. What you did. There's no way. He moved it. I swear I was pouring it in the glass, sir. He moved it. Chives, I'm tired of you screwing around. Now get your ass out there in the yard and pick up the gardener shit. The gardener defecates in the yard? Yes. You know he's not allowed in the house. That we all saw it. Goodman moved oh, very it. Very well, Goodman, you are an asshole. Go! Quinceanera! Get in here! Mess time! Did you pour for me, man? 
this for a good man? Yes, mess time. Oh, do you want me to get back on my knees? No, that's yummy time. This is mess time. Clean it. Oh, Ain't so do you want me to make a mess with my mouth? No, take your hand and a napkin and rub over the table o and clean up the fucking mess. Oh, so you just want me to clean up this wine with this napkin? CC's pizza. Yes, yes, pizza. Now I'm gonna go make sure Javier the gardener didn't leave his orange picking ladder under my fucking orange tree. Or else he's going right back to Jehuahu. Um, guys, quick question. Do rich people act like this? Do rich people act like this? Ratchet, at mean, and selfish? Do they act like that? See, if it was me, I wouldn't be no asshole to my butler. I wouldn't be a manipulator to, to my maid. I wouldn't be no asshole overall. You know what I'm saying? I would be that type of type of man who's gonna make sure everybody gets their share fairly. Mexico. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! She didn't even clean up the mess! Bad kids in Europe! Bad! Nigga, you she just got fired. stabbed in the back. No Are you serious? Job. She's got stabbed bye in the back. Bye bye green card. Sir, she's dead! She's been stabbed in the back! And you know what that means, Chive? That means you're gonna have to pick up the slack around here and start doing all her jobs. That means cleaning the house, giving me blumpkins, oh. hmm? give me thank you, Tom. No, what? Sir, anything but that. I really think we should just call the police. Okay, thank you, you do that. And I'm gonna thank go you. Google up some cities in Mexico where I can find a new one. Oh, where's my phone? Oh, I gotta call 911. 911, what's your emergency? Please help, there's been a murder! Oh, do you know who did it? No, 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 it just happened! I have no idea who could have done it! Well, don't worry, because you're talking to a clue master. Let's see, it has to be Colonel Mustard in the study with the candlestick. What? No, no there's no Colonel Mustard here. Okay, then it's definitely Brooklyn, Professor Shut Plum. up and just him. go to the damn house. Are you playing Clue? Yeah, are you not playing Clue? Sir, there is a dead body here! Someone has been murdered! Oh, shit, for real? Oh, okay, well, then I'll, I'll be right there. Thank you, please hurry. Brooklyn, are you... I'm sorry, but every time Brooklyn does some shit like this, he be making me mad, yo. Like, he be pissing me off. Like, just go straight to the damn house and find the clues yourself. Jesus. Ugh. He's already here. Hello? Trick or treat! What? I know Halloween's not till Thursday, but we wanted to practice saying trick or treat. What? It's three fucking words, Jimmy. I, I called the cops, though! There's been a murder! A murder? You hear that, gang? We solve crimes. We, we're the mystery gang. Yeah! The the mystery gang? Oh, you must mean forensics! Yes, come right in, the body's this way! What, body? Cody, do we go in? No, Junior, we don't solve real crimes. Well, but we're, we're the mystery gang. Let's ask Scooby if we should go in. Hey, Scoob, should we go in? Ruh, -ruh Raggy! Good idea, Scoob, let's go! What? All right, the body's over here! Zoink, Scoob! Jinkies! Yabba dabba doo! That's the Flintstones. Oh, my bad, dude. Say it right. Oh, roll, roll, Reggie. Do you have any dog treats me and my dog can eat? What? No. Oh. Well, all right, gang. There's a dead body. What should we do? I think we should split up and search for clues. Come on, Daphne. Okay. All right, guys. There's two clues here. A knife in this girl's back and a body with a knife in it. I think you can count those as one. Well, we're going to solve this murder. We're going to find out what happened to her. Junior, what the fuck are we doing here? We're supposed to be practicing for trick-or-treating, which is stupid anyway because it's not even that hard. It is kind of hard, guys. We've been trick-or-treating our entire lives and not one time have I messed up saying trick-or-treat. Then why do we need to practice? Because there's some people who have a hard time saying trick-or-treat. Hey, Joseph, how do you say the words when you open the door on Halloween? Oh, smell my feet, give me some money. <laughs> See, he doesn't, he doesn't like it. Okay, yeah, I understand that, but we're not going to solve a murder. Yeah. <laughs> but look, we're the Scooby Gang. We can solve murders just like they do in the show. Okay, they're not called the Scooby Gang, and they don't solve murders. Usually it's just some goofy guy in a mask running around trying to scare people for insurance purposes or something. What was that last part you just said? For insurance purposes or something? Hey, bald man. Do, yes. do, does anyone, like, p pull out, like, a life insurance policy on this woman before she died? Well, Mr. Goodman did, but he does that for all of his servants. <gasps> We should speak to this Mr. Goodman guy and see where he was during the murders. Well, yeah. he was with me in the backyard while I was picking Ask up him. the gardener's shit. Where was the gardener? He was with me, watching me pick up his shit. Oh, this is terrible. We should leave. Yeah, I agree. We should go home and let the police handle this. Wait, what did you just say? I said we should let the police handle this. Police? 
Please help me is what she said before she got murdered. I can hear it in my head. No, you're not hearing it in your head. You're just thinking that because it sounds like please. Wait a minute. I think I know who did this. Who okay, did it? Who did it? Chef Pee Pee. What? How no, he did it. How did Chef Pee Pee do this? He was, was, he he was at, he at that damn house. Probably your house where he always is. See, you always think he's out at my house. See, we don't, we don't ever think he's anywhere else. So he could be here stabbing her in the back when we least suspect it. Why would it be nah. him? I don't know. Why would nah. it be him? It literally could be anyone in the world. Yes, nah. it could be literally nah. anyone in the nah. entire world. Nope. So we have to nope. start interviewing everyone nope. in the entire world. Junior, we're never nope. going to interview everyone in the world. Not with that attitude. If you just stop talking and stop yapping, we can get and start talking to people. Okay, well, let's go talk to Chef Pete. All right, well, I think we should drag the body and show him the body. J Junior, why are we going to drag the body there? Because if we show Chef Pee, Pee his victim's body, he's going to cry when he sees his victim. Like, you, you if we go say, hey, Chef Pee, did you kill someone? He could lie to us. But if he sees the body right in front of him, he's going to cry because he's going to remember stabbing her in the back. I think if you show anybody a dead body, they're going to freak out. Listen, you just go find the other two, and me and Scooby are going to drag these people to drag this body to our house. Okay, fine. Uh -oh. Come on, Scooby. She's slipping. She's slipping. I, I, I got her, dude. I got her. Grab the body. Grab the body. I, I, I got her, dude. Well, what are you saying? Uh, 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 Raggy. Yeah, that's right, Scooby. Hey, what are you guys uh, doing? Oh, hey, cops. Uh, we are solving a murder. Really? Because it looks like you guys might be doing a murder. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. See, we're the Scooby gang, and I'm Shaggy. He's Scooby Doo. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, this guy called the Scooby Gang to solve the murder. No, he called the police, and I would know because I am the police. Oh, well, listen, you don't have to do anything. We got it from here. We, we, we have a prime suspect. Oh, well, who is it? My chef, uh, Chef Pee Pee. Well, what clues have you found? Uh, we found a knife in this woman's back, and she's dead. Okay, and what about that says Chef Pee Pee? Uh, the kitchen knife. Uh, the, thank you, Scooby. What'd mm -hmm. you say? Uh, uh, row, kitchen knife. Yeah, yeah, so the, the, the kitchen knife, my chef is in the kitchen, and he uses kitchen knives. So maybe he came over here and stabbed her with the kitchen knife. Okay, but we're nowhere near his house. Yeah, see, that's that's what makes him a prime suspect, because no one would suspect it's him. And he just probably came over here and did this real quick. Okay, look, uh, I don't feel like arresting all of you and doing all that paperwork, so I'm going to let this play out, because I have a feeling you guys are just going to call me later. Yeah, he realized we're better than him. <laughs> totally. All right, come on, the, the body slipping, the body slipping. Oh, oh, Jesus, slippery one. <gasps> It's right there. It's a mess. Oh my god, you found a clue! Yeah! Yes! Oh my god, oh my god. Hey guys, uh, Shaggy and Scoob are dragging the body back to Shaggy's house. Hey Velma, look, I found a clue! Yeah, she totally found a clue! Oh wow, good job, guys. No, say the thing. Yeah, say the thing. Uh, jinkies, jinkies, a clue. This damsel's distressed. Okay, but guys, seriously, can we cut the shit? Somebody's actually dead and Junior's dragging the body back to his house, so grab that. I think it might be important. Okay. okay. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. No, not right now, Junior. I'm trying to fry this fruit by the foot, but it keeps melting. Have you tried putting batter on it? Hmm, okay, okay, okay. I'll try that next time. Hmm. Chef Pee Pee, do you know this woman? <gasps> Why did you bring a dead woman in here, Junior? Exactly. Why did you? Said. Because she has a knife in her back, you dumbass. I never pointed out the knife. How do you know there's a knife in her back? How do you know that's how she died? Context clues. I can see with my own eyes. Duh. Hmm, Chef Pee Pee, what have you been doing tonight? Frying fruit by the foot. Did you not hear me? Are your ears not working? And you've been getting mad at that fruit by the foot, right? Yes! Like, really mad? Yes, frustrated! And maybe you want to take that frustration out on a woman's back with a knife? Uh, well, maybe, but no, not really. I don't even know this lady. Oh, okay, so you don't know this lady. How do you know she's a lady? How do you know she doesn't identify as a lady? How do you know she doesn't identify as a man? Be because I... How do you know her pronouns? I don't know her like that. I'm just assuming. Oh, wow. And what happens when you assume you make an ass out of you and me? Damn, you're right. And what does Yo, asses this do? this video is stressing me shit. out with Junior doing mm -hmm. it. You're like a lot of shit right now, Chef PB. What do you want from me, Junior? Did you kill this woman or not? No, I didn't no, kill that damn woman. No, he didn't. I swear to God. I swear to Moses, anybody. Moses. He didn't swear to God, but he would swear to Moses. Well, bro, what do you want from me, Junior? <laughs> just, uh, for some reason, you can't swear to God. <sighs> Junior be stressing me the fuck out. <clears throat> <laughs> right, but you'll swear to me. I swear to God, okay? Does that make you feel better? Hey, Junior, they found this mask. It might belong to the killer. Uh-uh, that mask is way too big to fit my small face. Oh, couldn't be me. Mm -mm. Yeah, he's right. This mask would never fit him. Oh, I guess we have to look for other suspects. Wait a minute. What now? When we came to ask you if you wanted to be Scrappy-Doo and you thought we were Courage the Cowardly Dog, which is no way close to what we are, I think I saw that mask behind you. What? No, you didn't. What? what are you talking about? Wait, Junior, look right here. It says property of Chef Pee Pee. <gasps> yeah. Shush, stop gasping. You know what? Fine. I did it. I did that shit. I killed that bitch. Zoinks. <laughs> Jinkies. Let's split up, gang. But why? Scooby Snacks.
What? Look, I, I killed her because I hate working here and I want to work for Mr. Goodman and she stole my job. So I said, if I could sneak up and stab her in the back while she's working and cleaning up, oh, she could die and it would be a job opening available and it, I could steal all the jobs. <laughs> it would be mine. And I could have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you, Curse the Cowardly Dog. Nope, not even fucking close. You had one line and you messed it up. Yeah, I should have to read. It's supposed to say, if it wasn't for you, meddling kids. Meddling kids, yeah. Stop, stop. I told you I didn't watch the damn show! You're gonna go to jail for killing someone? You swear to God also, that's fucked up. You're going to hell, said PB. What is the scariest movie you want us to pardon? To um, parody. Man, um, what scary movie y'all want y'all to bury? Let's see. Candyman. Do him. I just said his name. Anyways, I said it. Him. If you, if y'all don't mind doing it, I'll watch it. But I won't say his name. Because, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this reaction and this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that. And I'm out.